Not great if you have an AC problem right now in the summer in Texas here. Um, ERCOT just telling us now today, a few moments ago, they were uh, asking us that, uh, you know, to be weather aware mm -hmm. because obviously demand might be high on the grid, but now they're asking us to conserve uh, mm -hmm. today. So Those it's lines been were getting a little, little close together. A little close, a little close. That Earlier. would be, I think, the ninth time they've asked us to do that here in August yeah. so we're gonna be talking about it more at, at five o'clock but we we're talking about the farmer's almanac <laughs> yeah just, so, uh, just if before you were, yeah if you were here at the uh, top of the or at the bottom of the whatever it was 4 30 when we were talking about right uh you, it said the farmer's <laughs> almanac if you're here thank you yeah for, for <laughs> last year said the uh that our winter forecast was chilly normal precipitation Mm. All right. Well, it did, did rain, did have some winter weather. It was the seventh warmest uh, winter on record this <laughs> so past week. So they were week. wrong. So, uh, yeah, take that. Like, that's why I say just take it with a grain of salt. I mean, you know, we, we can, I know those projections are coming out for the upcoming winter. We really need to get a little bit farther into the fall before we can kind of really start looking ahead. It does look like it'll be an El Nino winter, which typically for us means wetter and uh, cooler than normal. Of course, an El Nino summer usually means that we're going to be around normal, if not maybe even a little cooler than normal. And this summer's been the third warmest on record. So it's not always a guarantee. We'll see what happens. What happened today, though, is the 104 was the high. The old record was 104, so we tied a record high today. And that is the 12th time this summer that we've had a record tying or record breaking a high temperature in DFW. I think we'll add two more to that over the next couple of days. I have us easily breaking the record uh, tomorrow and especially on Friday uh, with temperatures well above 100 degrees the next couple of days. But that might be it for the triple digits. And then hopefully we won't have to uh, worry about the uh, ERCOT situation as we head through next week as well, because cooler weather is on the way. In the meantime, excessive heat warning for all of DFW and the surrounding area through at least tomorrow. Uh, this will likely get extended in some form or fashion into the Friday time frame. Things are pretty quiet out there at the moment, although we're watching to see if any of these clouds can turn into any pop up showers and storms. A little bit of activity in southeast Oklahoma, southern Arkansas. That'll mainly move into northeast Texas as we head through the next several hours. But you see a little activity trying to pop up there west. Uh, northwest of DFW. So it's not impossible to have a stray shower storm the next few hours, but most places will be dry. Any of the activity that is out there will fizzle out as we lose the heat of the day and we will be dry late tonight and into your Thursday morning as well. But it will be another hot day tomorrow as that heat dome continues to stay nearby. So my high tomorrow is 106. That breaks the record. Friday it's up to 107, breaks the record as well. But that heat dome does start to move off to the west as we head into the weekend. So that drops the high to 99 on Saturday. Don't get me wrong, still going to be a hot and above normal weekend, but way better than we've been this this week where those highs are well above 100 degrees and there may even be a little rain around this weekend as well. But better rain chances come next week as we actually get a fall cold front in here. 94 on Monday, 89 my high on Tuesday and potentially the coolest day next week, Wednesday with a high of 86. Of course, we're still several, several days out from all this, uh, but it does look like we might have multiple days worth of rain chances. The, of course, the exact coverage, the timing, how much we are going to see still to be ironed out, but it could be at least our first chance at, you know, at least starting Saturday through next Thursday that everybody in North Texas at least see something, maybe half an inch to an inch plus across the area. We'll see. Some model projections are maybe somewhere in that one to two inch range, but I don't want to go that far out on a limb just yet because obviously we haven't seen anything like this for a while. And so it kind of remains to be seen, but the chances are there. Warm and muggy tonight with light winds. 81 will be your low and then tomorrow very hot and breezy. It's an air quality alert tomorrow. Obviously that excessive heat warning with a high of 106, 107 Saturday, uh, Friday, upper 90s Saturday, Sunday 80s for most of next week, potentially 89 Tuesday, 86 Wednesday, 87 Thursday, and maybe even still 89 next Friday.